look, um, me and Avery moved to Atlanta like four months ago, you know, and we kind of had to move pretty quickly. We really didn't know where we wanted to live or anything like that. We ended up in a pretty good spot, can't complain. But if we could do it over again, we would live over on the East Side Trail. Um, there's this thing in Atlanta called the Beltline, and today I'm gonna show it to you. So according to Google, the definition of the Beltline is um, a 22 mile open and planned loop of multi-use trail and light rail transit system on a former railway corridor around the core of Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, cool. So that's a technical definition. Okay, so now I'll tell you what I think it is. I think it's a uh, huge walking trail that goes around Atlanta, but you can also get bikes on it and scooters. No cars, just pedestrians and bikes. So look, the reason for my visit today down the East Side Trail is to get to Pond City Market. I have a gym membership over here. So I'm gonna go to the gym. But the thing that's exciting about the East Side Trail is that, well, first of all, we have to understand that most of the Beltline is not finished yet. Um, but what is finished is really, really cool. All along the East Side Trail, there's parks, there's a skate park, there's shops, restaurants, development, grocery stores. There's a Whole Foods, a Trader Joe's, and a Kroger just right here, a block away. There's a Home Depot. I think that if you could live over here and work over here, you could get rid of your car, in theory. Okay, look, I'm done with my workout. Uh, that, again, that's why I came over here. That's why I'm dressed like Peter Pan. But look, living on my side of Atlanta, where I live, uh, in Midtown and not on the East Side Trail is a good thing and it's a bad thing, but let me get home and I'll explain it. So like I was saying back there, um, there are pros and cons to living where we live. You know, we have, uh, Avery and I have electric bikes and any chance we get to ride the electric bikes, we, we take it. And so um, we get to drive from Midtown to the East Midtown and then hop on the Beltline and, you know, do our business because most of the business that we do is over there. So it's a good excuse for us to get on our bikes and get on the Beltline. But uh, with that said, if you lived on the Beltline, you would have access to everything that you needed, um, especially if you worked remote or you worked there because there's multiple grocery stores, there's shops, there's restaurants, there's everything you can need. There's dog groomers, like you name it, it's all over there. And what's really exciting about the Atlanta Beltline is that it's not done. And if the rest of the city, once it's completely encircling the city like it's supposed to, if um, development follows the trend that the east side has demonstrated, then it's just gonna be the place to be. You know, you're gonna wanna be on that Beltline. And um, as a real estate person, it's really exciting for me because no matter where we end up in the next year, we could likely move soon. We want to own a piece of Atlanta because the Beltline is just so cool. We think it's such a good idea. Um, with that said, hopefully that clears things up for you. Um, I'll link a website down below um, about the Beltline. I think they have their own website and maybe you can check it out. But anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out.